Now, sustainability has been a very big talking point in our country very recently with Sustainability Week taking place. And uh, the province of Gauteng has taken considerable steps to introduce new and innovative ideas and encourage conversations around building a greener economy. Now, we sent our reporter Tenji into the scene at Pretoria to explore Sustainability Week at the recent exhibition that took place. So you take a look while I go get myself a cup of coffee. In African cities such as Chwane, new buildings are going up almost every single day. But in a bit to keep up with our more global counterparts, we have to ask, can development happen not only faster, but also cleaner and greener? At today's Green Building Conference, innovators come together to envision a more sustainable future. A stellar lineup of conferences, seminars and public lectures were presented during Sustainability Week. The second largest municipality in Gauteng, the city of Chwane, was this year's host. Sustainability week is all about advancing the green economy so in essence it's about having the discussions and the dialogues around issues pertaining to green building sustainable energy water use waste and recycling uh, sustainable tourism uh, transport and a number of other discussions the focus was also on the challenges South African cities face urban spaces need to be resource efficient and help stimulate economic growth Mayor, the city of Toronto has put together a long-term sustainability plan. Can you tell us more about Vision 2055? Vision 2055 is nothing else uh, but the kind of future that we are envisaging. So it's a, a commonly shared picture of the future going into 2055. But remember that those initiatives start today. There are two questions that we need to be resolving. The first one is the urban transition. Now, there's a lot of people who are coming into centers of economic production uh, looking for opportunities. They come from the urban periphery and that creates a, a number of challenges for us. The second one is the issue of the transition towards a low carbon economic growth. We are assembling a core of uh, intellectuals, people who are operating in this space to help us to fashion responses to these challenges. And that's why we are part of this uh, initiative today. And that is going to contribute meaningfully towards Vision 2055. The event aimed to engage more of SA's youth, women and entrepreneurs. What we're trying to do with the, in following with the Green Economy Strategy for Gauteng Province is that we want to drive innovation that's driven by the youth. This is going to create more SMMEs, more jobs for the economy, and we need innovation to get new ideas into driving new technology options for energy, for water, sanitation, um, the problems that we have now even with service delivery. The week also showcased some of the latest green innovations. ESCOM was on hand with tips on how to save electricity and to introduce a clever solar device. So what energy savvy gadget are you guys presenting today? We've got this new unit that we've launched earlier this year which is called the Mobio TS120 lamp. You can use it to light up a room and the nice feature of this is you can actually charge your cell phone from it. So you've got the USB adapter included in the pack and then with five different adapters that you can charge different cell phones with. And the battery inside here is charged via the PV panel that you get with the box. Upcycling is also important. Non-profit organization Redisa turns waste like old tires into desirable items. Tenji soon agreed that sustainable living will never be out of fashion ever again. Today's conference was all about imagining a more environmentally sustainable city and actually a green future is not very far off. It's as simple as taking an old used tire and turning it into something of worth.